was in church yesterday and the pastor was talking about the importance of giving and it was in Colossians, I believe. I have to ask Bib for the exact verses because he wrote them down. Um, I didn't have my physical Bible with me, shame on me, but um, it was actually, he was actually explaining the importance of giving and God does not need your money. <laughs> he does not. But we are so blessed. We are so blessed. You have a roof over your head. You have shelter. You have clean water. You are blessed. I understand if you feel like you don't have the nicest this, or you don't have the nicest that, or you don't have all these things that you're imagining that, that doesn't have nothing to do with your salvation or the fact that Jesus is going to come at any moment and you cannot take nothing from this earth, nor do you want to take anything from this earth with you. So our Heavenly Father, we should be sons and daughters of him so when we say that we are sons and daughters of him we should be cheerful givers and that was a part of the message last sunday was was first of all we are sons and daughters of the most high that is a humongous that is a humongous expectation that is a humongous what's the word that i'm looking for that's just a humongous expectation to live up to so that means that we should be cheerfully giving 10% of our income. It doesn't matter if we only get one income for the whole year should go towards Christ because it's his money. First of all, all of it is his because he's given us the job. He's given us the ability to be able to provide for ourselves. So hold on. The least that we should be doing is giving him 10%. So in my maturity in Christ and as I grow in Christ, it's not just about praying over your your meals it's not just about praying like it's about praying without ceasing meaning every hour every opportunity i am spending time with my heavenly father i am talking to him while i'm doing these dishes i am talking to him on the way to work i'm talking to him constantly that is what i am focused on so as we mature in christ hold on wait a minute now look at these amazing people her whole wages her, her perfume that was worth a whole year of wages, she poured on the king's feet and she washed his feet with her hair. I don't know about you, but it just really makes me go within. And Father, when I give, whether it's giving somebody a glass of water, whether it's giving somebody a plate of food, am I doing this with a cheerful heart? Because if I'm not doing it with a cheerful heart, if I'm not doing it with the right heart, I might as well not even do it because God doesn't even want it. He doesn't even receive it. So I don't know who this is for because it's not coming for anybody out there, but just me, myself. It makes me zoom in on myself and thank God for the word of God because it will give you, the Holy Spirit will give you the conviction that you need in order for you to grow in Christ. And that's what we ultimately should be doing, which is growing in Christ. So I'm going to go ahead and read another chapter or another couple of verses within John. That's what I've been doing. Um, I've had some visitors, so my place was a little occupied, but I'm gonna get back on the right schedule. And I am just so grateful to the Lord for another day. I thank him that his mercies are new every morning. I hope that inspires someone and that helped you to go and ask the Lord um, to reveal your heart to you. Go and ask the Lord to reveal areas of your life that you can grow in because we have never arrived when it comes to Christ, when it comes to anything. We always should be willing to grow. And I know it's uncomfortable and I know it hurts, but I just want to encourage somebody that you can do it. You got this. You can do all things through Christ is who strengthens you. Not by your own will, not by your own might, but Christ. So I have a few updates, you guys. My lovely mother cleaned my house and I'm so thankful for that because I was so exhausted after work. Um, and I've really been needing to give this place a deep clean. I was gonna record it, but I didn't um, because I didn't clean it. But I'm just so thankful to my mom. Just an amazing blessing to my life, an amazing woman. There's none like her. So let me go ahead and show you guys she kind of moved i put up the christmas tree she moved the little sorry if my hand is shaking but she moved the table slantedly 
And then I have a desk finally, if my finger can fall over right here. I finally got a desk, but a desk, but baby's been using it a lot more than me. And I was like, mm, okay. So when I'm gonna be able to use it? <clears throat> I knew that originally we needed to get two separate desks because he really is a hard worker. He's always working and he needs his own space. And I need my own space because we work differently. So I was like, okay, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this one. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in our room because we wanted to originally make this like many different things. So we're going to start organizing and set up, setting up like a little work area. I wanted to deep condition my hair, which Perhaps straightening isn't the best time because it's been like a little rainy sometimes. I have an umbrella, but that really does set me back when my hair is straight. So I don't know. Maybe I will straighten my hair next week, the first week in December. I'm really not sure. My birthday is coming up and I have nothing planned, but I would at least want to go to like a very nice restaurant, have a very nice dress and just have a grown dinner, a big girl dinner. Um, last year I didn't do anything for my birthday and this year I definitely want to celebrate. So, I'm gonna do that. We're gonna do that. Last year I was very selfless and I was like, you know what, I should have celebrated my birthday. So this year I'm going to dinner. But that's the only thing that I pretty much have on the agenda now. I also wanted to deep condition my hair, but that's setting the bar a little bit too high and then we're gonna end up stressing ourselves out. We're not doing it. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna scale it back. Or if I jump in the shower right now, I can have the deep conditioning in my hair while I clean. So maybe I could do like a little small deep, condition, deep conditioner. Y'all, my hair, before I take this out, is a mess. But it's because I've just, ooh, I've just been, um bunning it for the past couple of days with the little curls. I love that hairstyle now, it's so easy. So I have to jump in the shower, I have a pre-poo. I also have the peppermint oil. I'm gonna put that in my hair after. And then I don't have deep conditioners. I found one in my second bathroom that I didn't even know I had, which was the Shea Moisture Black Castor Oil. I need that, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my hair. But yes, y'all, so I have to get ready for the morning and then I will see you guys later. And I also have to edit a vlog. I'm still figuring out if I wanna do like an hour vlog and just post once a week or if I should do two, like a 30 minute for that because it takes me a couple of days for me to complete vlogs instead of like doing it all in one day that would be a very high expectation and then it would stress me out on top of that so um i know that the girlies do not be doing that so i'm like all right maybe i need to scale it back a notch I'm going to Home Goods. It's like a week later, and I'm finally picking up a camera. But we here. It's probably hard to find. This is cute. That is cute. But. This is cute, except that white part will for sure get dirty. How much is it? Y'all, we didn't have no luck. 
but I might as well go to Target or at home because I know at home is somewhere around here. I think it's down the street. So I'm gonna go to at home and see. There was a, this really big white chair that I've seen that I really like from at home, but I don't know. Okay, y'all, so. I'm on the hunt because two weeks ago or a week ago, I got, before Thanksgiving, I bought a desk and I'm behind on editing. I'm behind on posting and I need to go ahead and upload a couple videos for y'all, especially because, hello, Vlogmas has started. It's December 1st. I got things that I have to get done for my work. And then like, I'm like, hold on, wait a minute. My priority is my babes, my friends, the girlies. So I've been neglecting y'all and I do apologize. I missed y'all, man. So let me tell y'all how I came. And I thought my man was following me because this man, I mean, he really be knowing where I'm at and what I'm doing, like the back of my hand. Well, it's not really that hard. I'm either home, at work, or at a store. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, let me try to save my story. Some oil on my lips because they dry and they're coming in my places. Like, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it is. That's still moisturizer. Okay, so I'm doing my little morning routine. Good morning, once again. The next step that I'm going to be doing is my hair. I don't know if I spoke to y'all about my lashes, but, okay, I had a reaction. I had a bad reaction. My lower, my lower eye was so swollen, and every time I closed my eyes, I was feeling like a stabbing pain. And that is not normal. Coming from the beauty industry... I know that is not normal. So I messaged the person who did my lashes and she did not respond after a while. And I was like, okay, babe, well, I don't know what that's about, but I actually wanted, I'm in, I'm trying to find a lash tag, but I haven't found one yet. I thought, and I was hopeful that she would be a lash tech because I know that she was actually licensed, not certified. So I was excited about that. There was a few things that happened that I was like, okay, I'm not sure, but especially my eye being swollen and being bloodshot red. And it was like, well, do you have eye drops? Babe, this isn't normal. Like, love you. There's nothing against you personally. But this is not normal. If you guys are getting your lashes done and they're bloodshot red or you're in pain or anything like that, something went wrong, whether it's, it could be a variety of things. I'm telling you as a licensed professional, somebody who has been trained, that is not supposed to be the process. You shouldn't even feel your lashes at all. You shouldn't feel them at all. It should be like if you still have your natural lash because the way that it's supposed to be applied, there should not be any tension whatsoever. So different things like that to where it's hard for me to find a lash tag because I know and I'm not going to go to somebody that's going to damage my natural lash. So the person was amazing, so sweet. I felt led to just encourage her. Um, I thought it was a good experience like as far as speaking communicating to one another and i was like what is the ingredients or what is the name of the product that you use on my eye and she didn't respond i was like did you use eye drops like babe i'm asking for the ingredients that was on my eye because at this point i'm afraid and i think i'm gonna have to go to the doctor terrified at this point so I ended up using tea bags and everything and my eye went down it wasn't in as much pain in it as it was as the days passed but that really freaked me out and made me understand how important it is to not just go to any random person because there's plenty of stories that you see 
of people who end up losing their eyesight or with humongous infections just by laying on the wrong person's desk. So be careful. I used to be a volume girl and then I didn't like it anymore. A lot of times I find with volumes, if someone doesn't separate correctly, then I'm in pain or there's lots of tension. Whereas with classics, it's a little easier to see what's going on. I think it's a lot easier. It's easier for me to see what's going on. Like one lash is supposed to be attached to one lash. For me to find a lash tech at all. I'm gonna have to look for one. Hey, 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 hey. Hola, mis corazones. Hola, mis corazones. Bienvenidos a mi canal. You know that the brothers are next to us so that you are notified every single time your girl uploads a new video. Okay, we're jumping into Vlogmas. Today is Vlogmas day five, six, one of them. I still have vlogs that I have not uploaded from back in October. So by the time you guys get these, maybe we'll still be in December. I'm not completely sure, but it's time to prep for Christmas. I'm already late because everybody has already done their Christmas online shopping, blah, 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 blah. And we have it. So for today, I'm gonna go to the store and I'm going to get a Christmas gift for my family. I, my Christmas budget is, should I say that? Maybe, or maybe nobody would hear that. But there was this really, really funny um picture that i seen and it was a man squeezing his butt cheeks and it was like this how tight my christmas but christmas budget is period and let me tell you why the national holiday is on the 22nd of december so my birthday is on the 22nd of december my mother will not be here but he'll be here on the 24th so we're going to celebrate my birthday we're going to celebrate you know bringing the good christmas eves i want to be very festive this year i want to make gingerbread i want to make like gingerbread houses with my family like make it super competitive i also want to make um i also want to make maybe even christmas pajamas so that we can take like family photos because we haven't done that like this is what i have been waiting for because i have not done this ever and it's very exciting for me to be able to do that so i'm going to just get a small token i'm going to definitely get a card tell me how much i love her again because yeah girl you know the national holiday is coming up we're gonna still get you some sweet girly we are but you know the national holiday is coming up okay and anybody tell you to push me out two days three days prior to christmas we gotta focus on the holiday and then it's just so beautiful that I get to share that with Jesus. Anyways, y'all, so I have been really stressed about planning. Let me put y'all down. Because about trying to figure out what I want to do for my birthday. Because last year, I didn't do anything for my birthday. But this year, I'm doing something for my birthday. Okay? I am not a do-something girly. I am experienced something girly. Me, I love a fine dining restaurant that I've never experienced before. You know, soaking in the atmosphere, taking great pics, enjoying my company. That's what I love. Period. So all the traveling, yada yada, all that extra stuff. I don't really expensive gifts. If your heart is in it and it's thoughtful, and I know that you put, it just means so much more to me. So. I am just planning a very simple yet beautiful birthday because I know a lot of people do a lot more birthday dinners and all kind of crazy. Not me. I'm just going to have a very intimate dinner with babe. That's what I want to. I don't know if it's going to change. I thought about going to like museum parks or other things, but I'm like, I don't really like nothing like that. I thought about getting my facial or a massage in the daytime. I'm still trying to figure it out. I don't know if I'm going to have lashes on, if I'm going to take these joints off because the lash tech that I found did not work out. One 
I still have three more to go. Or a couple more to go. I'm going into Starbucks right now. I'm going to get some food. because I don't know what to get my mom or my sister. friends I washed my lashes this morning I realized that I never brushed them out so excuse me for walking out the house like that I have so much bags and I need to put these gifts I need to wrap the gifts so I'm not good at wrapping so I'm gonna try to find a box I want to go to the dollar store or to go to I wanted to go to the dollar store or to go to Walmart. I'm going to go to Walmart. I have a nail appointment. Um, my nail appointment was at 2.30. I left the house at 10. I really thought that I was going to boom, boom, boom. And then leave. You know what I mean? I really thought that, girl, you woke up early. You on the way. I had a therapy appointment and she canceled yesterday and she canceled today. We gonna leave that there. We, we're watching. I am so hungry. I spent the whole day buying gifts for everyone, and I feel so happy doing that. Like just being able to serve, especially my man. He just deserves it. He's just such a hard worker. He just serves and gives to everybody, and is so selfless. My mom, so selfless. So being around selfless people really it just it just makes you want to do for them it makes you want to serve them as well because they're so selfless so i hope that everybody enjoyed their gifts i told y'all i'm on a tight budget so i try my best and now i'm really excited to like wrap everything but i don't know if i'm gonna show because what if i post this do is wash the car and eat but i think i'm gonna just get a public sub after i'm done doing my nails i thought that i would have enough time to wash the car now but i don't because i'm on the way to walmart right now to get the gift wrapping paper and then i'm also going to get the stuff to wash my car at home because there is a area that i can wash my own car so i'm just gonna go and do that um and then I told y'all I just wanted to do a gel manicure because my birthday is two weeks away. I need to place an order for the dress that I decided to go with for my birthday. And then I need to place an order for the dress that I decided to go with for my birthday. And then we should be good to go. We should be Gucci to go. Okay, period. My nails done. That was really quick quick now i need to wash this car so i'm about to do that right now i have a gel manicure and i feel like i want to stick to gel manicures i don't know every time i go back to gel then i end up like missing the nails but the gel manicure is the classiest thing ever i love them so we'll see how this goes my birthday's in two weeks i might just keep the exact same nails no cap we don't know we'll find out it's giving What's the issue? Anyways, I'll be back. When I say I am so exhausted, I mean I am so exhausted. And Zara, I was so confused with sizing her bed. Because my clothing is confusing to me. I never purchased anything from Zara yet, clothing wise. That's my first time. The clothes is so upscale, classy. I love the vibes. 
Let me show you guys the bags that I got because I suck at gift wrapping. So I'm gonna put some stuff in bags and fill the tree, which I'm so excited. I got these from Walmart. I'm sorry, I'm out of breath at all. I just, I've been going through it today. I got this one, and then I got this one. And then bada bing, you know what I mean? Like, let me just take down this side. Perfect, perfect. And then I could bring this up. Not too bad, not too bad. Hire me. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my bow on top. I got a jerk chicken turkey or whatever, jerk, jerk turkey uh, stub from Publix. When I say I am starving, I really mean I'm starving. I was scrubbing my, um, when I was washing my car, my ring was falling off, so I had to take it off. I go up in here, Shorty said, you got an Instagram or something? I said, I do, but I don't. I messed up, I need Windex to clean. I'm the type of person that when I start a project, I need to finish it. And sometimes I have to remember to set boundaries for myself. Like for example, tonight, I need to go home. I need to eat. I need to leave everything where it is. Minus the clothes that's in the washer. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the dryer. We can do that, but let's go over the list today. We had go and get the Christmas gifts, check. Five, six hours later, what else? Get my nails done, super quick, excited about that, and obsessed with my nail. It's only Funny Bunny, you guys. All I did was put Funny Bunny on my fingers, and I'm obsessed with my hands. I feel so classy. I love them. They're perfect. I cut them down. Obsessed. I just have to remember because I keep thinking that I have nails, and I have to remember that my nails are very weak, which is why they're so low. And then I was like, I was like, could you file them down a little bit lower? She was like, we're about as much as we could go. I'm like, I know, I just really need them short. Because I don't go into the nail salon every two weeks. I go once a month. Anyways, we got the nails done. We washed the car. We were supposed to do the laundry. All I have to do is put the laundry in the dryer. And then we'll tackle the rest of that a different day. For the most part, I did everything. And then I also want to read the word before I go to sleep. And I have to take a shower and do my skincare and do all that. And then eat i forgot to eat sweetie so now i'm gonna go home i'm gonna eat and then tomorrow morning i wanted to put gas but i don't like going to the gas station at night so i'll just do it in the morning and i have to clean these windows for the last time i did a little ten dollar car wash because i didn't want to i didn't have all the time to go get a bucket and then like scrub it by myself because y'all i used to be a professional car washer my parents taught me i used to wash my parent cars when I was younger, they used to give me like $10. They was robbing me. But yeah, I used to wash both of their cars, like detailing all the inside, vacuuming, like using the like shiny thing to do on the inside, like everything. For real, for real, like top tier cleaning. Okay. So I'm really on my P's and Q's. So now we, oh, we wrap the gifts. Now I have to probably finish wrapping the gifts. But the problem with that is that Babe's home, so I'm just gonna wait until tomorrow or a different day to do that. But see you later. Hi friends, it's the next day and I'm done with my work day. I'm about to go into DSW and grab, actually I'm not about to grab anything. I just wanna walk in here to see if they have some cute 
heels because my birthday is coming up. I found a dress, possibly found a dress, but I don't have shoes. And I just want to walk in here. And then I also need like one more work shoes because this one is the only one that I'm currently using. Anyways, and then Ulta is right across the street. I've been needing to go here, but I do need a new deodorant. Babe needs a new deodorant. And you know, I'm the I'm the assistant. So I got to make sure that he has everything that he needs. Um, as he makes sure that I have everything that I need. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let me actually just pull up to a different parking space, actually. So y'all... DSW, I told y'all, I shop anywhere. I do not discriminate. DSW have a sale going on right now. And they have get buy two pairs, get one for free. Don't play with me. Do not play with me. Because I'm in here. And then I have to get some skincare. I've been wanting to re-up on some of my skincare products from Good Molecules. And try a different toner. Because I definitely have been struggling with hormonal acne for like the longest i've been telling y'all that at this point i just don't even talk about it anymore but my skin has been doing good my so mano so i'm about to go into dsw and i am going to see what they got but we're just gonna browse around and then go into ulta and then we're gonna hop on the highway and go home we're gonna i have some gifts that i actually need to wrap but i don't know we shall see how the rest of the evening goes. I have some, I had Longhorn for lunch. It was good. It's my birth month. Your room was already here. <laughs> my mother and my father was blessed the minute that they conceived me. It's a blessing. Anyways, yeah, let me, this person is pulling up parking while I'm trying to get out. Yes, girl, I'm waiting on you since you just pulled up in the middle of me trying to get out the car. Let's go. Friends, I'm on 8%. I'm going to Target because Babe and I is doing mandatory Bible studies. And in order for us to do Bible studies, I need to get more organized with my notes. Like, I have specific notebooks for specific things, but I'm realizing that I'm not... I'm not as organized as I used to be, so I need to go find a notebook. I'm gonna go find a notebook for my Bible study nights, and I'm also gonna find a notebook for my job, because the one that I have is really big, but I need one that's better than what I have to help me stay organized. I'm at this Starbucks drive-thru. It is Thursday, and I think that they have the 50% off. Y'all, Fabe sent me roses. He sent me flowers at work today, and he sent me two, but I only got one. And then they FaceTimed me and was like, girl, you got more flowers? The sweetest thing. Hello. Um, Good evening. May I please have a venti ice matcha latte? Oh, of course. And then may I please add two pumps of vanilla, actually two um, scoops of vanilla bean powder. Sounds good to me. And then can I also add seven pumps of the vanilla syrup? You said seven pumps? Yep. Yeah, for sure. And then may I please have um, salted caramel sweet cold foam? Yeah. Um, that's eight. Don't bother me. Thank you. Well, of course, I'll see up here. Giving me like nothing of the drink but i really really wanted this so i'm here i heard it's 50 percent off so i hope that i do get 50 percent off but let's see i think it's only if it's the app hello friends good morning buenos dias i am in the chick-fil-a line and i'm continuing the vlog i am getting my life together if I may I wonder if I have any cash left Yo tengo dinero okay here we go excuse me I do. I do I've been spoiled this week uh babe sent me one flowers I thought that was it and then I went home and my co-worker called me and was like girl I'm sick of this your aunt loves you so much. 
I got another flower and then I got another flower and then the next day in the morning I got another flower but apparently it was supposed to be coming back to back the man that was supposed to deliver my flowers actually ended up in an accident which is so sad but here I am back to Chick-fil-A Good morning. For a Sasha? Yep. Alright. You have the five pound nugget, fruit cup, half pound, and a peppermint shake? Uh huh. Alright. So give me $15.45. I have the five, so if you can give me back a ten. And you said how many cents? Uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's 45 cents. Alright. 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 Thank you, have a good day. Okay, friends. I switched up my breakfast this morning. Let me tell y'all what I normally do. Normally, I do a biscuit with uh, some fruits, but um, today I got just the chicken minis, which I didn't know you can do that for breakfast, but I just got the chicken minis with um, a fruit and I still got a milkshake but I need to get some coffee I have been trying to get off of wait a minute did I finish y'all did I finish the story so y'all know this is my birthday month my birthday is in two weeks babe did this extremely special thoughtful thing for me and I'm so so grateful he's the most amazing man on the planet absolutely the most amazing amazing man on the planet hands down the most amazing man on the planet absolutely the most amazing man on the planet and i'm just so thankful and so grateful uh so i think his he told me that it, and initially it was supposed to be coming back to back to back the three bouquet of flowers but it ended up coming two I made that which was not what I wanted to do especially like around the time of my birthday but hopefully I can end up finding a last check and staying with her great it's gonna happen to me today and all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord so I need you to understand that and receive that as I have already received that today okay and spend <clears throat> all right y'all just pulled up to Pug Blitz we're going there to get a water and I want some chips but I was like let me just eat my food before I go in here because it's gonna get cold so this is my first time actually having hash browns and chicken from Chick-fil-a if y'all haven't tried this from their breakfast I just rather it like without the little bread you know what I mean share it with y'all uh yesterday I uploaded the vlog where I was sick which that was back in October y'all it's December so everyone's like, I hope that you feel better. Yes, love. The Lord has healed and delivered me. Thank you for caring. <laughs> We're in Publix. I really wanted these salt and vinegar on Lay's Ranch dip. One of these that I had got from the Publix closer to my house. But I'm not seeing it. Okay, so I came back here the other minute to me in my head. But I'm gonna get the ranch Pringles. These joints right here. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get these Pringles ranch. I hope it still tastes as good as I thought it did back then, or maybe I was just mad hungry. But I'm gonna get some water to put my chlorophyll in, and then I'm gonna also get some juice. No. 
don't know if I should do sushi. I'm trying to see if I really taste the difference in these waters. And honestly, I'm not sure. But I'm about to get some fish water and see if I'm fond of it. So I was about to order from Starbucks, but they're closed. So I'm going to get an iced tea. Because that's better than getting soda, right? Yeah. 